Hello again, and welcome back to my holiday series. Um, so the reason I didn't, there's a couple of reasons why I didn't get to one yesterday. Uh, one was because it was my niece's first birthday, so yay, she's one. Uh, and two is because my eye, like it's still pretty, it's hard to tell with my glasses, but it's still pretty swollen, like all under here, okay? So, yesterday it was really bad, but today it was really, really bad. Um, it was actually, like, completely swollen shut when I first woke up this morning. Um, so, I did not go to work because I don't think I'd have been able to work uh, the whole first half of the day here. Um, it's only just now gone down. Um, I've been keeping hot compresses on it all day long. Uh, which I also would not have been able to do if I was at work. Um, so, yeah, hopefully... I'm going to knock on wood here. Uh, hopefully it continues to go down. All these glares. But it almost looks bruised, in a way. But, yeah, so... <laughs> not that I consider myself the most attractive person, but I didn't want to look extra unattractive <laughs> by having my eyeball all huge, not my eyeball, but my eyelid, <laughs> all huge. So I did not film one yesterday, or record one yesterday, however you want to call it. I, I'm still, terminology is still escaping me with these, but um, today is a uh, log cabin day. So it's an interesting one. Um, I myself would like a log cabin, like in the woods, uh, away from people. <laughs> That would be, that would be fun. Um, really simple, too, you know, like, I mean, I'd obviously want um, electricity and all that and internet and whatnot because anymore you can't really live without that kind of stuff. So I'd want all that. But I'd want everything else to be pretty simple, pretty basic, you know. Kind of like my apartment is. Only, you know, I'd be able to do with it exactly what I wanted. Like, I can't paint here or anything. Um, but yeah, so I think that'd be cool. Also, it reminds me of the little, like, actual log things that you make. Like, little, they're plastic. I'm, well, actually, I'm pretty sure they came, they're wood first. Maybe they're plastic now. I don't know. But, like, they had little notches in them. And then you could, like, stack them up and build your own little house. You know, your own little log cabin. Log cabin. <laughs> uh, so that's what that reminds me of. And I'll, of course then it reminds you of Abraham Lincoln. Just because it was said that he lived in a log cabin or whatever. And Davy Crockett, which I've actually been inside of his... Uh, I think it was the house he was born in. I'm pretty sure. Uh, on one of our random road trips. I went on two road trips in college. Uh, over two spring breaks. My senior... Or my junior and senior year. So on one of them we went... We randomly, it was like a legitimate road trip. Like, if we saw something we wanted to go to, we pulled off the road and we went to it. So we saw Davy Crockett's uh, birth house or whatever, or house, you know, childhood house, whatever. So we went. Um, we went, one, because it's interesting. And it's something I never even would have thought of, you know. And two, <laughs> because we would, we had uh, tabletop D&D &D games going. We played every Wednesday, um, and without a doubt, every other semester, I would have an 8 a.m. class, Tuesday, Thursdays, so I'd be up until like 3 a.m. on Wednesday, but I'd still go to class every single time. Maybe I skipped once or twice, you know, whatever, but um, pretty much went every single time to my 8 a.m. class afterwards, but anyway, we played in this really cool three-era game. It was the, uh, let's see, it was the, the Dark Ages the 1890s and the 1920s, and in the 1890s, yes, in the 1890s one, I played uh, Mina Harker from, you know, Bram Stoker's Dracula. I went with Harker as the last name still, too, because I just thought it sounded cooler. <laughs> but um, in it, one of our friends played Davy Crockett, and he was with us, too, on this road trip. So we're like, ah, ha, ha, we gotta go here. Um, 
he unfortunately was body swapped with um, this, <laughs> sounds super racist or whatever, but this Chinese man, because, <clears throat> you know, it's the 1890s, you know, whatever. Um, and so we pushed the Chinese man into this swirling portal thing. And then we had, it, oh, he was also a werebear, of course, Davy Crockett, you know, so he's a werebear. So we had this rampaging bear who was actually the Chinese man still with us. And we sent Davy Crockett in the Chinese man's body into this portal thing. It was awesome. It was, of course, he lost the character, but, you know, it's a tabletop game. So you kind of lose characters, whatever you just make another one. Um, so, yeah, log cabins. We went in one that was by Davy, that was owned by Davy Crockett or whatever. Uh, to put in a nutshell. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody, enjoy your log cabin day. Whether it's dreaming up of a log cabin that you would love to live in, or playing with the little log cabin block things, you know, just looking at pictures or whatever. Everybody enjoy it. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Okay, bye. I don't know what these videos are anymore.